Well, automakers are looking to have a very powerful, safe, and reliable voice, yeah. right? Because you don't want to sacrifice performance, safety, or security. You want to have all three. So we, for the last three years at QNX, have been working on a new OS that really addresses that market. And as such, we have a new product that's being released for the first time in almost 15 years. QNX is wow. releasing a new kernel. And that shows you the level of effort we have to put in. And also all the OS services, networking, file systems, graphics, security, all of that has been upgraded and the latest technology assistant and it fits all the market really to provide all the features outside performance with all the other features that you would need for the next generation systems. So is this a, a, effectively a ground of reboot? It's a, it is a ground of reboot. But of course we're doing it with safety in mind, so all you the work we did, experience. it's all we're working on, you know, all the safety certification. Yeah, so oh, it, 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 it took that long, right? Not because we, did, we, we, we can't do it. No, it's because safety itself requires a level of rigor right. that is really meticulous to achieve any sort of Right, and in order to to release an OS that is ACLT ready, it takes you have to put in the time and effort, right? And that's what we've been doing in the last three years, right? So the safety certification is coming in the next few months. So in this demo, we wanted to show display, but instead of showing speed and RPM, we have here the OS operations per second and the CPU loads. And then for the gearbox, we have the number of cores you can run on: so two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, and sixty-four. Right. This is running live on AWS Graviton 3 in the cloud on a 64 core instance of uh, STP8. You have three scenarios that is running. We have signal processing, right, to show when you consolidate into one, form of one high performance compute. You have all the signals coming in from the sensors. You have the calculation of pi, your rational number, very computer intensive. You have TensorFlow for artificial intelligence and machine learning. So, if you look here at eight cores, right? So the result here is around 107,000 operations per second, right? Great. But when you double it to 16, it doubles. So the throughput doubles. When you double it to 32, the throughput doubles again. When you move it up to 64, it doubles again. Really, what we wanted to show is that when you increase the number of cores, you get linear and proportional throughput improvements. It's seamless, right? And that's really what OEMs are looking for. Right, so that their future core. So whether they're using an eight core or a sixteen core, they're gonna get double the performance regardless. And also, we wanted to show intros, right? Like, well, I don't say intros. We wanted to show real time behavior by generating intros, right? So when you have safety critical events ha happening in the car, right, you want the OS response to be very quick, very reliable. So when I press this button here, I'm launching alerts and interrupts that you will see all show up at the display, and you will see. Yeah, how quickly it is this service? Yes, we tell you, we meet them about this. Yeah. yeah. Right, and what you see here is I'm generating a lot of interrupts, and you see how quickly the service that you see the results here in terms of type. And what you see is the precision and accuracy, and it goes down to the nanosecond level of accuracy with the service mm -hmm. type. What we're trying to show is that, yes, you have the performance, yes, you have the scalability, mm -hmm. but QNX is known to be a hard real-time OS that is safe. Right? which means that when you have safety critical events happening, you want these events to be able, you want these events to be handled deterministically, safely, mm -hmm. and reliably every single time. You don't want any jitter, you don't, right. want, uh, you don't want high or low latency. And sorry, you don't want high latency, you want low latency. So that's really what the hard real type was, this, right? So this, this demonstration shows all of these features Right. Obviously, there are security features that come with the OS, uh, networking features, safety features that come with it. The safety certification is coming. In. But really, this this OS is really addressing future needs for the automotive market and for something like that.